Hello and welcome to this ZTPFGI demonstration. In this demo we'll look at how we can compile or build a program and how to load that program to ZTPF for testing and debugging. The compile, build and load buttons are on the home tab of the ribbon menu. You can also compile, build and load via a pop-up menu in the editor window or via the pop-up menus in any of the files and projects windows. To compile a program Simply select Compile. The status of the compile shows in the Build tab of the Output window. ZTPFGI is intelligent enough to search for make files and use the first one it finds. Notice that although the object is created, the shared object is not. To create the shared object, you will need to build, not just compile. Before doing this, let's see what happens if there are compilation errors by setting a couple of errors in the code. And now let's try and compile again. As we've made changes to the code, ZTPFGI will automatically save the file before compiling. As before, the compile status messages appear in the Build tab, but this time errors are found. These errors are listed under the Error tab of the Output window. Double-clicking an error will take you to where that error is in the code so that you can fix it. Now that the errors are fixed, let's try to build. When you compile or build a program, any unsaved changes to the source files are automatically saved first. Notice that because we have built, not just compiled, the shared object was also created. Now we're ready to load the program to ZTPF simply by selecting Load. Name the OLDR, select the VPAS that you would like to load the program to, and name the load set. Then click OK. The load set is created and sent to the selected VPARs. If you want to load more than one program at a time, you can do this by creating a load deck. A load deck will load all the shared objects that are listed in that load deck file. As an example, let's try and load the TRO5 load load deck. This time, let's load via the Editor Windows pop-up menu. As before, just name the OLDR, select the VPAS that you'd like to load the program to, and name the load set. Then click OK. Once again, the status of the load is shown in the output window. The entire contents of the load deck are sent to the selected VPAS. We're now ready to connect to ZTPF so that we can test and debug our programs. But what if we're already connected to ZTPF? Let's connect now so that we can see ZTPFGI's advanced loading capabilities. Now let's load this load deck again. As before, you can specify the OLDR name and the system that you want to load to but you can also specify that you'd like to select which source files you would like to trace. Click OK. And you're presented with a list of source files that are associated with the programs in the load deck. Select the files that you would like to trace and click OK. ZTPFGI does the rest. It creates the load sets and ships them to ZTPF. It then proceeds to open the selected source files in the editor and lock them into source view ready for debugging. Thanks for watching this demonstration of how to compile or build a program and how to load that program to ZTPF for testing and debugging. To find out more, please watch some of the other demos that are available, take a look at our brochure, or contact us for further information.